Let's get physical. So a year ago, I was actually in really good shape. I was going to the gym six times a week, and then I had to write a book. I, for some reason, couldn't write and go to the gym at the same time, so I stopped and wrote and wrote and wrote and never went back to the gym. This year, I am vowing to go back to the gym and to celebrate, we are making vegan carnitas. I know you're going, what the f but they're actually super delicious. They're really good for you. All we're doing is swapping out the pork and the lard for olive oil and vegetables. And they're really, really satisfying and I can't wait to eat them. We'll chop and fry and lift and squat. If you like me and you like this recipe, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode. Whenever I think about making a traditional Mexican dish veganized, I think about like, what are the textures? What are the flavors? What do I really like about that dish? Carnitas are great because you've got like a crunchy exterior, you have some like little bits of chicharron, and then you've got like this really, really soft, like unctuous meat in there. And so I've selected garbanzos and mushrooms to replace the carnitas. And then because, you know, this is uh, going to be a taco, we need a salsa. And I decided that I, this is actually something that I've been wanting to make for a long time. There's a part of the central part of Mexico that they make a lot of jams and preserves with dried chilies. But that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started cooking. <laughs> ah. For the guajillo jam, add the chilies guajillos, chilies moritas, onion, garlic, vinegar, orange juice, sugar, salt, peppercorn, oregano, cloves, and one cup water to the jar of the blender and puree until completely smooth. Transfer the chili puree to a medium saucepan and bring to a boil over medium-low heat. Cook until the chilies are tender and the liquid is syrupy, about 50 to 60 minutes. <laughs> Ready, begin. Chop and smile, and chop and smile. Chop and smile, chop and lift and drop. Come on, everybody. We're almost done. Almost there. Feel the burn. Five, six, seven, eight. Finished. Well, with, <laughs> with these. <laughs> More. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For the carnitas, heat six tablespoons of oil in a large, heavy skillet. Add the chickpeas to the skillet and fry, stirring frequently until golden brown and crispy, about 15 to 20 minutes. Use a slotted spoon to transfer the chickpeas to a paper towel lined large bowl to drain. Season generously with lots of salt and pepper. In the same skillet, reduce the heat to medium high and cook half of the mushrooms undisturbed until browned underneath, about three to four minutes. This is really important. You don't want to move them. You want to get that really nice sear on the bottom. Continue to cook, season generously with salt and pepper and toss occasionally until browned on all sides about five minutes more. Now transfer to a bowl with the chickpeas and repeat with three tablespoons oil and remaining mushrooms. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the white part of the scallion and the garlic. 
And it's okay if you mix in a little bit of the green, that's totally fine. Now transfer that to the same bowl with the chickpeas and the mushrooms and toss to combine. Let's get it all together now. I always overstuff my tacos and vegetarian tacos are no different. So beautiful and red. A little bit of green onion, cabbage, and a squeeze of lime. There we go. Oh my God, so many things happening. The garbanzos have held onto their crispiness. Like, I don't know if you can hear that, but they're like seriously crunchy. And then the mushrooms are just so, and I hate this word, meaty, but they are like, the outside is really nice and seared. And because I actually cut them into large pieces, the interior is still really, really juicy and tender. And then like the sweet and the spicy heat of the guajillos was really incredible. So as always, if you like me, if you like this recipe, if you like sweet heat, and you want to see more incredibly delicious recipes, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh, what are we making next time? You know, we're making those uh, grilled ribeye empanadas, the ones with a lot of lard in the dough. Yes! Mm. Mm.